Did it reconnect? I was just about to get off because I realized it wasn't working. Okay, are we live again? Alright, good. Uh, I will use the restroom though, be right back. I don't know why it's doing this, by the way. It's only doing this with the screen here. I don't know if this is supposed to be happening or not, but I assume not. <laughs> but anyway, I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Okay. All right, let's actually get back to like the story, I guess. Although, I should do this real quick. It shouldn't take too long. Let's relieve. 
What the heck was that? Okay, well, I guess let's do that real quick. I do wonder why my screen is messing up, though. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I do have this waypoint, right? Uh, actually I actually want to go to that waypoint. I could have sworn I was streaming for two hours. Not only an hour and a half. There we go. There we go. That's what I was about to say. That is a, uh, big spider. Confringo. Expelliarmus. up my entire combo meter back? Wow. Fill up real quick. Look at all these spider fangs. Akio! Wingardium Leviosa! Revelio Accio No.
Revelio. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Oh, yeah, I figured it was going to lead me to the Hogwarts. I'll come back once I have all the upgrades, I guess. I don't need to keep checking back on that. Although it does actually want me to see the uh, footage teacher. The flying teacher around there. Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Mm -hmm. Reporting back, Professor. Well done. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quapples from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Oh. Precise, deliberate movement. Okay, what is this for? Resto momentum. Sounds useful. Why? Huh. Very good. Resto momentum. That's it. Keep it up. Okay. Um. Quest. Okay. The pulso. Ooh! Yes, I did not know that was there. What? Finally, Alohomora. Man, I did not know I could just do this one quest and get it. That was so close. How nice to see you, my young friend. What? See me. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. Oh, the caretaker? First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Right, you're Although like I hear drunk. your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Oh. Literally wait. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Lumos, someone 
it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? I forgot what a demiguise <gasps> is. Yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Um, yeah. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Mm. Alohomora, that's how. But what Al about curfew? Alohomora? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Okay, so they're only around the castle. That's good to know. At least according to what I just learned. I am curious what happened if you mess this up. I've never messed up, so I don't know. Unlock. Hello, Hamora. Kind of fun. Kind of fun in a way. Dear Mirabel, my dear Dot has been asking for after you. Um, perhaps I can convince her to stop in for a butter beer or two if you were to join us. It's been far too long. When you do manage to come by, I wonder if you'd be able to par part with a few other of your plants. The more fragrant ones, ever since the troll attack, customers have been complaining about the smell of, believe it or not, old socks. Nothing I've tried seems to cover the stock, the stench. Hoping to see you soon with or without the plans, your friend, Sarah. Revelio. Uh, 
Professor Fig, as... Uh, sorry, I am in receipt of your most recent owl. Apologies for the delay in my response. I'm still receiving a good deal of correspondence regarding the introduction of the not-so-recent stooging penalty in Quidditch, which, in my humble opinion, has brought the game into modern age. Astonishing, frankly, how many spectators want nothing less than seeing Quidditch keepers flatten entirely. As to the topic of your recent letter, me the, we at the Ministry assure you that any and all potential threats of wizard kind are taken quite seriously. I may I have made note of your concerns, and in as much as time allows, the Department of Magical Law Enforcement will ensure that the matter looked into schedule permitting. We value your, the opinions of the esteemed wizards such as yourself, and you may rest assured we have matters well in hand. Should you wish, I can have my secretary secure seats for yourself and a guest in this year's Quidditch final. Thank you. I'll be delighted to see the results. A well-run and efficient government. Warmest regards, Ferris Spavin. Okay. Revelio. Oh, that's a level two lock. That's lame. Hogwarts house elves do an exceptional job keeping the castle in order. They are seldom unprepared for any number of items uh, that they may encounter each day. However, only the other day, and an unexpected stash of wizarding crackers went off from behind a cushion. The cacophony was the most untoward, engulfing one poor elf in blue smoke and giving those to us nearby an abominable ringing in our ears for the rest of the day. I expect the culprit was peas. Please keep an eye out and be careful. Okay. Revelio. I think that is 11 out of 16. Like, I'm getting really close to getting all those. Let's see, level 2. Can I have Petrificus Totalis? No. Level 1. Hello, Hamora. My darling Abraham, there's a lot of notes in here. You'll be overjoyed to know that the uh, local children have taken to playing gobstones. Uh, okay. I feel like a lot of these notes are not important. That is crazy. There's actually a leprechaun pot of gold. Revenue. And three, uh, which is five.
five and eight. It's uh, twelve. Oh no. Excuse me. Easy. Revelio. Can continue on finally. Revenio. Oh. Arrest them. Oh, well, that is not what I meant to do, but that works. Revenio. That had better not. Oh, that Rather poorly, is... I'd say. Uh, okay. Try again. Hopefully it lets me have all that stuff I picked up. I don't want to have to do all that again. Revenue. Uh, I think it did. I think it let me have all this stuff. Yeah. Revenio. Crusted tortoise shell. That was a little three lock. Alright, how do I know which is like go? Forest the Bewildered. His 
This must be the prefect's bathroom. Ah, uh, finally. No. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well, I suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to get a few galleons on Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff? The Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet. And Ravenclaw would not have been that. Revelium. Unicorn Fountain. Okay, well, clearly you're not going this way. So it got like slightly further away, I guess. Uh, okay, I got it. Okay, I'm heading all the way back down. I see. Ooh, hello. moon i have the moons you asked me to collect oh goodness you're as fearless as i'd hoped an excellent start uh, if we can collect more of course i first suspected peeves he drove the previous caretaker rancorous carp to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery but that does not explain the bogger in oxmead does it no i am determined with your help to discover the identity of my tormentor Um, yeah. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. <laughs> and I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Yes. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable. How many statues are there? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Dozens. We'll have your work cut out for you. If you were to ever. You mentioned offering something in exchange. I did. Uh, once. Not every lock is as easy to pick as that. Understood. I appreciate that. Okay. So. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Revelio. Keep at it so we can solve it. Lumos, Revelio. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 
guess. Wait, what? Oh, this is Hello, where I Mr. come Moon. back if I have more. I actually have some. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the fewer of these. I'll keep an eye out for more demi. You are to be commended. I said I had some, and I actually didn't. Ah. Yes, I told you. You're very clever. Clever? How offensive. Next. Fine, a genius. Happy Possibly. now. But I'll allow your limp vocabulary. This disillusionment charm is superb. I'm stealthy as a daddy. Oh, it says I've, I have one out of nine now. Oh, that's cool. Rebellion. How are we how are we looking? Uh Gryffindor has not that many. Uh what is this? Hufflepuff? Hufflepuff has more than us. Ravencall literally doesn't have a single point. Nor does Slytherin. Wow. Rebellion. Okay, well, at least at least I have Alohomora now. Very happy about that. I don't know why that's all get glitchy. Talents. I have nine talent points. Let's look at core. I can get these now. I haven't even looked at this stuff yet. Stupefy actually deals damage. I don't use Stupefy as much as I should. Whoa, perfect Protego. That's actually pretty sick. Um. I don't have the spell yet, nor do I have the Bombarda. That's cool. Um. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. What? Yeah. Requirements. Mess with that stuff a lot. I haven't gotten a single dark art yet. I wonder if this is worth it. Maybe. This actually might be worth it. I, I thought it would be useless, but um, it's getting to the point where I'm actually having trouble finding things now. What am I looking for? myself for a second because I could sneeze. No. Oh. Uh, no challenges. Wow, I got a lucky leprechaun hat. Or 
Exploration. Not a whole lot. Literally zero percent of the room requirements. All right. Go to beast class. I wonder if I should just like Google these, like YouTube these, and I'll have to hunt them. I might, I might honestly do that. Just so you guys, just so you guys know, I might do that. Like off stream, just like get some, uh, get the Aloha Mora spell up. Look neat, here I come. Revelio. There's gotta be some level one locks around here, right? So level two lock. Level two lock. Level two lock. Fine now, demi guys. Two. Level two. Wait, what? Uh, there's demi guys in there. I thought they were only at Hogwarts. That was Mr. Moon is saying the whole time. Lumos. Easy. Revelio. Lumos. Excuse me? Lumos. It's weird how the music keeps stopping and starting right here. Oh, that's so annoying! Why can I... Why do I have to step up over here? Oh, wait, is, can I just walk around right here? Does it get any more cozy than uh, Hogsmeade? Lumos. Come on. Let's keep glitching the music over and over again. Finally, all right. Man, all these little two locks. Rebellion. Not a single other, not a single level one lock in here. 
Oh, right when I say that, I found Hello, Hamora. Revelio. That was it? Okay. Man, you know that thing about it? There's probably like one of these in front of every shop. Definitely Rebellion. coming from this direction. Hello there. Nice to Hello, see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgov. He's a friend. I'm glad to hear it. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. Took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him about Ranrock in particular. Uh, yes, I have, I have heard of Evilids. <laughs> I've never played it, but I, I, about Ranrock I've been asked, I've been told about Lodgok. it many times. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Hmm. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. This is like a good have you person. Heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough. But between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Alrighty. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies. But please, watch your back. Back from your latest flight? 
I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all... You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Uh, yeah, again, I agree with that, as long as I can get broom upgrades. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. Nips in the hat. You too, Amit. You? you are most kind. Need to go in the building. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Kind of cool looking, actually. You look familiar. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember the three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Um, yeah. Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. Um, no, no, I've never heard of, never heard of both of these. A heinous witch stole a sacred goblin <laughs> relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out <laughs> a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. So I'm stretching real quick. Oh. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Okay. I forgot that I should close Chrome while I'm streaming, because usually it just, like, makes everything go slower. Okay. Not jump over this, thank you. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom Rebellion. is the helmet of Ertgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. 
It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. There's enemies over there. Well, I can't see them from here. Revelio. Oh, just some wolves. Two fingers. Easy. printing this whole time. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? How nice to see you. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this? The helmet of Urtgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me. Uh, do you know why? It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate. But I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Don't suppose you have any... Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. All right. It all seems clear. I do hope our alliance. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please. Am I gonna stay invisible? No. Curious. Merlin's beard. Lumos. Revelio. 
Mauve Beret. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Lumos. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Oh. Well, well that was very quiet. Oh. I was kind of hoping to, uh... Akio! Akio. Lumos. Repair us. Use repair us so infrequently. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Power it. Lumos. Lumos. Well, okay, now I know that that wasn't a uh, extra puzzle. That was a you have to figure out this puzzle. Or you're not getting any further.
What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Uh, it does look precarious. Down I go. No other way. Uh, isn't there literally another way right here? Still don't know why that's all messed up. Revelio. Where is off scale? Confringo. Defender. Expelliarmus. Accio. Confringo. Lumos. Oh, let's get you. Also. Uh, I guess the zombies are the only. Lumos. Repair all. Uh, 
Uh, I guess zombies are the ones keeping all these fires lit, right? Could be magic. Lumos. Right, so where's the door? Where's the dang door? Oh, so there. How am I supposed to do that? Lumos. Can I depulsa while I have Lumos? Depulsa. Lumos. Okay, there's two. This looks even more complex. How am I supposed to get this third one up there? Lumos. Lumos. Hmm, maybe not. Never mind. I don't know. I can't reach it from up there with Lumos, can I? Maybe? The Bolsa! Lumos. Oh. Capulso. Lumos. There we go. Witch's final resting place. Lord Gok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Dang it. Like this. Let 
to show this to Lodgo. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Okay, I don't know what the mechanism was. It just seemed to open up as soon as I walked by it. Oh, hello. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. <sighs> I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Rest easy, my large friend. Fish. Alrighty. Revelio. Right here on the on the ground. That's it. This is for Rookwood. Oh, uh, try not to make this too easy for me. You're all working against each other when you should. It's about time Rookwood took control. He doesn't need Ranrock. Mr. Dallas, my eyes closer. Best to be sure. Alrighty, well, that was easy. Uh, oh. All right. Do you believe I defeated an Ashwinder by myself? Uh, yeah, I don't believe that I instantly defeated an Ashwinder by myself, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's it. There's no 
telling what lies in wait for me in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Rodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, uh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's I mean, I did trust. kill for I it. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many. All right. I believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Quest, 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 quest. Peace class. But before I do that, we go to Hogsmead and sell this garbage I have. Actually, I probably should have gone to the room requirements first. Sometimes it seems all know. roads lead to Hogsmeade. It's fine. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lowen. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Sold something that was better. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. That's actually a pretty cool looking hat. Magic snort snort. <laughs> All right. All right. Is this outside? Side. There we go. I don't think I've taken a break in like an hour and a half, I think. So let me take another quick break just to uh, use the restroom and get a drink. I'll start this while I do that. Be right back. I DM'd you the meme. You DM'd me the meme. Alright, hold on. Uh, hold on. <laughs> John sent me something silly. Okay, uh, should I play this on stream here?
off-putting about this. Is a luck. Sorry. Uh, okay. I'll be right back. You're welcome. Fight, Welcome, fight back. everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puff skin can be a slippery devil. What the heck? Uh, yes, Professor. I was pouring myself a drink. Here. It looks like he tried to like put his its tongue in. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> in her mouth. You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Uh. Oh, and think pleasant. Oh, mm, there's a new thing. Uh, 
Um, yes, I, I like believe to think they are it enriches all his experience. Because they're all in Hogwarts, That's right? That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast food? <laughs> Is that for the for the creature? <laughs> the beast food. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. Pudding. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Looks, it does look pretty kickable. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please. Do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. Oh, that's right. Neasles are cats. I remember Hermione's cat. A couple of Neasle whiskers would get me a measle. few nuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> Stupid thing. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Tus tus peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. I like how I'm the only one who can, like, look like I do. It's really nice. Everyone else is wearing their, like, school Those robes. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. No one's going to think it's capable of doing taxes. Now. Where is our new student? Oh, ah, I don't know what you're referring you to. Are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How I did don't any longer. Beast lesson. Uh, sure. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. All right. <laughs> Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely Not waste of life? To justice by someone. The uh, ministry, really? perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some <sighs> assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Alrighty. I need to talk to you. Come here. Oh, okay. I'm so popular. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. Oh. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet. 
in the forest. In the forbidden forest? You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. <laughs> At first, you had my curiosity. Now, you have my attention. I wouldn't take attention. just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Bobby, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Okay. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Right, this is gonna kill me. She's gonna sick her beast on me and I'm gonna die. She enjoys watching them murder me. I can be the only friend of the beasts. There can Please be only be one. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. You're supposed to bow. Bow to the hippogriff. Bow. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. So, what did you think of High Wing? Uh, brilliant. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've uh, seen it firsthand with her. I'll How exactly did that. you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued but it is her magic. from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area. So I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen. But on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. Hmm. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Uh, I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Talking to people? Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Alrighty. Um, so can I put my other stuff back? Still have that weird glitch. Alrighty. Um, do I have no main quest right now? Uh, 
Oh yeah, talking to how dare they talk to people. That's so suspicious. No, not just anybody speaks to another person. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself huh. lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. <sighs> it's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for someone as caught? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother, until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm ready to play. Something? Then let's get summoning. Now that you've attended at? Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Accio! What was I thinking? Akio. I probably could have gotten closer than that. How am I to top that? Akio. Oh shit. You'll have to do better than that. I thought the uh, thing would slow me down. Slow me down way more. Oh no. Oh, I can't beat her now. I have to just tie. Yes! Uh. <laughs> and I let go way too early. Way, way too early. I, I thought I didn't hit it. I don't know how. Ah! Can I do that again? Can I go again, please? Best two out of three. Good match. Care to have another go? Oh, okay, cool. Yes. But of course. Splendid. I assume she won't do the exact same thing again. Akio. Okay. Akio. Wow. That was sensational. Literally on the edge. You'll have to Awful. do better than that. Akio. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on a second. What? My points went away. Yes. <laughs> Akio. I didn't know that if I knocked my own stuff off, I would lose the points I had. <sighs> Good match. Care to have another go? But of course. Splendid. Uh, annoying. It just takes so long. Hurry up and do your turn, Samantha, so I can go. <laughs> Accio. What was I thinking?
Once again, that was right on the edge. Akia. Oh, how am I to top that? That settles it then. <laughs> okay, well, that was way better. After your poor show against Natty and class, I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. Okay, I just I just hydrated. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Alrighty. Let's go to the map again. wants the W. She wants the wand. Yeah. I've always said that travel broadens the I'd sink like a stone. Hey, Nerida. Going for a swim? Talk to Goodness, her. no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we jeweled in the Crossworn's club. Oh, did we? Yes, of course. Good to see you again. Uh, and I you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel yep. that if goblins and centaurs have liaison you, you want to cross the ministry, wands? then the mer people should have one too. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the Mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't exactly done anything just yet. That was the. Uh, I presented them with the a gift name a before they chose crossing ago, ones. And they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. Mermish. How has wizard kind fallen short in its treatment of mer people? Well, we've consistently deigned mer people as being beneath us despite the many similarities between our cultures. One can hardly blame them for declining being status by the ministry years ago. Who are we to classify those of such beauty and intelligence? What is it about the mer people that it I can't begin to tell you how brilliant they are. I mean, rumor is that tales about them have infiltrated even the Muggle world. The oldest known mer people, Sirens, come from Greece. And of course, Scotland has Selkies and Ireland is home to Merrows. I could go on for ages about them. 
their glorious underwater communities, domestication of sea life, their art and music. It's a travesty how little is understood about them. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know anything what about do their you imagine art a liaison music. to the mer people would do? Oh, so many things. I want to know everything I can about them. After I've mastered swimming, I perfect my mermish, of course. And I'd share with them anything they wanted to know about wizard kind. My hope Even is our that dark, by understanding deepest, darkest each other better, secrets. both of our societies could grow. You're my biggest. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you. The last thing I want is for them to think I shunned their gift. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from. Okay. I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. Find the leaky caves. Look at this place. Did the Mer people really leave Nurida an artifact? I wonder why it didn't do the wham. Good for you. It worked last time. Luke. Now then, I'll need you to come with me. Now for the rest of you. Artifact. Huh, that's it, huh? Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news! I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. I'm happy. I've decided to keep the gift. That's well, a I'm lie. glad we helped to foster some healthy it makes diplomatic me really relations. Want to replay this Merlin's and just be like beard. the worst person. It's marvelous. I'm going to show it to everyone, including the Ministry. Should I hand deliver it or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. I doubt that, but we'll see. I can't wait to study this. Revelio. What did you think you were doing? That owl has been in our family for... Confringo! Oh, the bra worked. Rebellion. So it's not all my samplers not working. Wow! Oh, and then there's the wow. One way you could do it, but, uh... Brent can't. Cross wands was so much fun, wasn't it? There you go, more talking about cross wands. How fun it was to cross wands. <laughs> it just likes Bryce more, that's funny.
Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received... Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I appreciate I, the lurk. Uh, could you try to find out for me from what... I take it... He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls. To let me know that he's all right. Has your uncle trade? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the gal... He does it for me. Between robes and supplies. Attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And bes... He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I'll try and look. Thank you. In fact, in his last... Okay. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Uh, this game takes place, um, it's like way before Harry Potter. Uh, I think it's actually, well, I think it's a hundred years. I think it's 18, I think it's like, uh, like 1880 or 1890. This be Mr. Oaks's camps and Rock's loyalists. Just ahead. Should I take it by force? Be discreet. I would prefer to be discreet. I could kill uh, baby Hitler. Revelio. Did I not say the wizard part? Rebellion. Did 
Did I just say baby Hitler? Baby Hitler. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Oh. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. This is just down a river. I just gotta follow the river pretty much, right? I've raided Brockborough more times than I can count. I'd remember my father speak of these times. Seems now they're upon me, they tell quite a little. It's exhausting. Ah, <sighs> and no one to share in my victory. Akio. Just gotta follow the river though. Revelio. The castle must have been quite stately in its time. Solves that. I don't know what doing that does. Akio. Ingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, uh, back to what I was doing. Revelio.
not enter while mounted. These rocks have seen better days. I've heard that line before, and it's such a weird line to me. Like, what do you? What does that mean? Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. then all right <sighs> let me go back to my inventory then Some kind of castle. But it's like down the river the whole time. Rebellion. There aren't many places that I've dived into, so... No, I have not been in here. Revelio. Accio. Capulso. Rebellion. Was that it? <laughs> that's po it's possible that's all that was in here. Okay. Well, I'm sure glad I did that. Thing. All right. Okay, this actually does look like where I started. This 
so let's go like here. Bastard scratch me. I let him live just long enough to regret it. You can feed a beast or it can feed you. If you get my mind. One less poacher in the wizarding world. close to students. Because I'm assuming this is the ruins on the map. Who lived here, I wonder? I'm assuming. Because this is down a river. Wingardium Leviosa. Confringo. So this kind of looks like this, kind of, right? It's down the river from where I was. It does look a little bit like this. And if it's on the other side of the river. Revelio. Confringo. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Convulso. Ugh. Shame you're so foul. Confringo. I still cannot summon my broom for some reason.
Let me travel to Hogwarts real quick. Oh my god. Hogwarts. Deek. Ah, Deek is so happy to see you. And Deek noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deek has seen one of these before. Deek calls it a knapsack. Oh. Oh, it's sucking the glasses off of me. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Um, give me a minute. All works when I have. Nice. I think I'm actually going to take a slight break on Harry Potter, though, I think. So this might be a surprise to see. Oh. Yeah, I see nothing. Um. Play back. Alrighty. So if I hit extra change to pick up this game. It is not. Okay. I'm going to hit last stream. So does this look familiar? This is a game called...
Wow, how long has I been muted? Oh man, I didn't realize I was muted. <laughs> Hopefully it hasn't been that long. Uh, what I was saying was, I was like, I was like, oh, I see that, uh, you know, I read that you said that I was streaming on the wrong, like, it says I'm streaming Hogwarts, and I was like, oh, let me fix that, and I couldn't think of a name, and I was trying to come up with one. Huh? Wait, you're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Javat, right? You bet I do. <sighs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from another Outlander. He was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. Well, we are always on the road, so yeah, it's pretty tough to get mail to us unless we happen to go to the post office on whim. Which I haven't seen a post office since I started the game. Did that person give you anyway? Uh, he just wrote <clears throat> next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. <laughs> so the address is Paimon? Yeah, exactly, right? And if I failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you. Of course, here it is. All yours. Another Outlander. Come on, Uh, Kaya! It's been a while. Uh, heard you two are traveling in Sumeru. I have it in Newport Ormos. Uh, alright. I do not know if this is like the primary quest right now or not. I think it is though. Wait until the following afternoon. too far. I thought it was said between like 18 and 19 or whatever. Okay, well, I'm dumb. Gotta do it again. I keep getting messages on Discord during my stream. Okay. I wonder if I would have waited too many days if he would have been. No, I know that's not how the game works. I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. Hey, they actually talk about liquor. Oh, well then. Just the bill, please. It's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Kaya, you're really here! I'm on half that you were playing some sort of prank on us. Hey, Paimon, traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> uh, we miss you too. Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. So despite how it might look, 
I'm actually a Jafar tavern for strictly business purposes. You doing this for your brother? Sumeru spices are famous the world over. It's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. That's why the knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. And? How did that go? So far, so good. He is very far from Mondstadt. I've spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. Yeah, that does sound like a great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master Diluc are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not, depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> hey! Using your job to settle personal grievances isn't very nightly, Captain! I guess you've been to Samara oh? before? What makes you say that? Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Hmm. And? Do continue. <laughs> Do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Hmm. Well, all right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. Oh. And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo, and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. Hmm. It wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader I didn't think found Conry me, was underneath the Sumeru. It, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. It was a short-lived adventure. I'm sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conry was near Sumeru was because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. My life had less and less to do with Conria as I, I saw Dane's leaf. And so I started caring less as well. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to give me a happier life. A happy life sounds good to me, of course. Even if it means being cut off from certain things. Hmm. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. These days, my surname, Albrecht, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. Albrecht. One death afternoon, please, boss. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Albrecht? Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Dainsleth, if I'm not mistaken. So you remember me. Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Albury, descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. Huh? The Abyss Order's founder. I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. It is the blue Look, Phantom of the Conway, Opera. Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. 
disorder in any way, are you? Yeah, a little bit. We we know that he is. Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. Either way, looks like we're out of time. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. See you around. And Dainsleth, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> you don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. Well, I suspect that they call your sister their princess, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Oh, so if she was the founder, she'd be the queen, right? I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? Uh, sounds yeah, familiar. the Abyss Order's evil plan! We learned about that back in Mondstadt. Not new, not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Your sister, she mentioned the loom of fate back when we traveled together. Wow. Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. And also I racist. That we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So racist to his own kind. She mentioned back then. Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in a Vidya forest then. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's no. Now is not the time. No, I'm still waiting for my drink. Seriously? Oh, weird. Okay. <clears throat> Avidya Forest. Yes, the forest has barely changed from how I remember. Can one truly be unaffected by their ancestry from a blonde-haired, blue-eyed man? Let's yeah. search the area and see what we can find. It does sound pretty racist. It's is true. This a field? It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. You could be forgiven for thinking nothing was ever grown here, or wait. Maybe nothing ever was grown here. It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. That's responsible. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. Wait, we're just gonna go... Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. If you say so. Well, uh... Oops. Huh. Huh. So there really isn't anyone home. Hey, look! Whoever used to 
Can't you smell it? There's a heavy scent of medicinal herbs in here. Oh, so it's a medicine ball? Hmm. Seems you're right. You've got a good nose on you, game. It definitely seems Why like somebody it? has been here, or at least uses this. Paimon means you. Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. What? Huh? This is a mirror. A broken mirror. It's broken too. Was this a makeup box? Hmm. That's kind of disappointing. Paimon was hoping we'd uncover some super big secrets, especially after Dane talked this place. Green roof. This bed looks pretty ordinary. Huh. There's nothing underneath it either. What sort of person would want to live here? It's so dark and damp. Can't be all that comfortable. Maybe you have nowhere else. Doesn't look like there's anything else worth their attention here. You sure we're in the right place, game? My memories are quite foggy, but my subconscious and instincts both assert that something once happened here. But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Hmm. I hear noises outside. Let's go and check. I don't hear any noises. Is it? <clears throat> it's not much. Just some minor adversaries. Monsters? Wow. Game's ears are sharp, just like his nose. He's in surprisingly good shape for a five hundred year old. Although for someone who's as full of surprises as Jane, it's hardly a big deal. Anyway, let's treat up these monsters. I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. There must be something nearby that attracted them. A lady anomaly, perhaps. Hmm. Okay. I'll go slightly further out to investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. I might be a while. What? You're going alone? You better not be trying to keep some secret from us. Your suspicions are as banal as they are unwarranted. I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation. And as such, someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, I will be more than able to handle it alone. Uh, fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. Good thing there's a fireplace over there. Let's make ourselves something to eat. All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. I missed. Let's light it up. Before I know it, night sets in. <sighs> Your cooking is as good as ever. Even if there was no other reason, the food alone would be enough for Paimon to stick with you. Changing the subject. Games take me forever. He said that there might be an issue with the nearby ley lines. How bad do you think it could be? We came together, but now it's back to just being the two of us again. You know, now that Baima mentions it, we really have spent lots and lots of time together, haven't we? Yep. Um, so, don't take this the wrong way or anything, but, uh, do, do you ever get tired of Paima being around? Yes. Question. Don't know if it's okay to ask this, but Paimon's curious. What was it like traveling with your sister? The stars? Uh. Wow. 
Well, you traveled through the universe always side by side with each other. This is the first time we've been separated ever. Yeah, Paimon understands. Being separated without even knowing the reason why, it's just terrible. But we'll find the truth together. Sure as Paimon's your guide. Just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, Tabat. Uh, you know what? We've talked too long about this sad stuff. Let's talk about something happy instead, because if you're sad, Paimon will be too. All right, all right, it's getting dark, so why don't you rest? Paimon will take first watch. Don't worry, no monster's gonna come and eat you up. Uh, this is the first Paimon I couldn't have been before me. <laughs> don't say that. Paimon just wants to look after you for once. Nighty night. Go on, chew. Off to sleep. Time to wake up. The sun has risen. What a deep sleeper. You do know that we need to... Hmm? Tear stains. You dreamed of your sibling last night, didn't you? All right. Rest here a bit longer then. I'll... Hmm. Yeah, where is my mom? I was secretly trying to pause the game because I was curious if Paimon would pop up. Halt! What? This place is not whatever you think it is. Nor should you be poked your travel companion. You mean the one that was keeping watch by your side last night? <laughs> Your companion departed for the forest early this morning. <laughs> that much. What business is that of yours? Hmm? I didn't mean to click All on whatever I clicked on. Is that I claimed this place first, and what I do here is none of your concern. Sounds like a creep. Do I make myself quite clear? Leave. Well. What are you waiting for? I don't think I'll find much luck trying to find my companion in the woods. <sighs> I've been observing you. And you don't look like a forest ranger. Still, I'm warning you. No funny vi Okay. Fine. Whatever. Just you... <sighs> oh, go on then. Have it your way. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide, but no overreacting to anything you see. Come on, then. Alrighty. What the heck is going on? That's Hillitrol. Mind your own. How could he be? He was too young. So don't you lay a, a finger on him. Just. Find yourself, huh? You know Conria? Who are you? Exactly. Huh. Do you worship a god, traveler? Uh. Hmm. Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> um, my name is Ida, and 
You are correct. <laughs> I was once Conrian. Oh, uh, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you must understand. It's, as far as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct. And all who place faith in the gods are oh. my enemies. That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been few and far between since the cataclysm. This wretched curse of immortality. I, who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this. The curse. <laughs> it was a little gift given to the people of Conrea by those vile gods. We lost our home, our loved ones, everything. The agony of the cataclysm itself was already too much to bear, but then came the curse robbing us any chance of release. All we can do is watch helplessly as our souls erode and our bodies decay. That was, wasn't that like over 500 years ago? I don't know, your body doesn't seem to be decaying much for 500 years. Because, although Conria began with a single bloodline, it was a whole, any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. When the Cataclysm came, we pure blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. Upon us, the gods placed the curse of immortality. But those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled, turning them into monsters. Hmm. He is Kari Bear, my illegitimate son. <sighs> How times have changed. <laughs> I can say that out loud with no consequence now, but <sighs> it was once a matter of unspeakable shame. I was a noble of Conria. I resented the life that my family had arranged for me. And then, one day, I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but that mattered not to me. It was love at first sight. <laughs> Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth all due to my selfish desires and, and i was never able to be there by his side for any of it and after all that he turned into a hilly troll right before my very eyes oh i always owed him much and now I, at least she was <laughs> we were separated it could be worse. I suffer the pain of loss because I once had everything I could wish for. <laughs> and now, now that I have lost almost everything, the little that remains, I see, if nothing else. What do you plan to do now? Ah, yes, I, that reminds me. I I only returned here to check on Curry Bear, but I do have other things I wish to do. You may come with me. Okay. Crafting bench? I'm sure you're wondering what. Well, 
It's because he needs a one which will help him to recover his. Hmm. I do not hope to break the curse. I am no way. But it is said that this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's God of Wisdom and can awaken the minds from a state of deep stupor. It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. <laughs> I believe that it might just work. I read about it in a book. <laughs> from the Royal Library of Conria. It was banned. <laughs> I mean, since this medicine requires the power of the Seven to work, in my youth, I, I disliked the life of nobility and craved excitement. I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. <laughs> the gods have already punished us. What is one more? Never mind. As a... Uh, long as you understand I, I'm sorry <laughs> I struggle to take control of my mood sometimes uh, uh, perhaps a consequence of having lived too long <laughs> maybe as it happens I am in dire need of some help to make this my hands don't have the dexterity they once did I uh, okay to stop what the heck is that uh, also, uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? Oh, wonderful! Uh, this is the method for... Okay. Strange mushroom. Nameless taboo medicine of the royal court. The sickness of oh, my way too quick. Is it done? In all honesty, I do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. <laughs> well, the moment has finally arrived. <laughs> no! We... I said before that this medicine... Which means... We must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, I disagree. I would a I would totally ask Nahida. It makes a hundred percent sense to ask Nahida. She's right here. Let's ask her. No prayer, nor will I sing your praises. You and your kind destroyed my home, wrought unfathomable suffering on my compatriots. Yet here I stand before you. Yeah, it's a tea in your little girl. You cannot mock me more than fated God of wisdom. I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young and unfortunate soul. Young, son, unfortunate soul. Carabere. He was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. This is no fate. For a child. <laughs> if everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conry bow their heads, then I bow to you now. <laughs> I have. 
given up all I ever stood for. All I ask is for a tiny miracle. For Carabere to see this world once more. Please, God. I beg of you. Hmm. I have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. Let's go. <laughs> you should totally ask the T-posing girl. Look at her T-pose. Sometimes they'll do like a little roll. There you go. Kari Bear? The village will seem almost lifeless attraction to everything. Are incredibly weak. Oh, we've prepared the medicine. <laughs> Kari Bear, it's me. It's your father. Kari Bear. Kari Bear, please say something. I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born. And that I. I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering. But I'm here now. Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. Are you still angry with me, Kari Bear? I know you're awake now. Do you not want to talk to me? I'm so sorry, Kari Bear. Forgive me. Please, say something, anything. Please. Please! Oh, gods above! What more do you want from me? You took everything from here, and I still bowed to you. I'd give you my very life if only you cared to take it. But you won't even let me die. I knew it. I should never have trusted anything that had to do with the gods. I was <laughs> just deluding myself. The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. Come down. Uh, other reasons. What do you mean? Huh. You uh, really think so? Give up? No, no, n never. And yes, you're right. I. I, I cannot let myself wallow in despair. Even if I must stay here with him for 50 years, a hundred, I don't know what difference does it make. I, I do not lack for time. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Tip of time, yet no hope. It can only be called torture. Let's go. <laughs> The most crucial ingredient in this medicine is the unusual mushroom, which makes things... I grow them. The details don't matter, right? <laughs> Curb your curiosity and just do what I instruct. <laughs> if you truly wish to help me, there is a waterfall near the statue I prayed at. I need you to collect some water from there around uh, two in the afternoon. <laughs> I'll be here watching Curry Bear. Once you're back, I will make some fertilized and good. <laughs> then and please head over. <laughs> uh, and before you know it, it is two in the afternoon. Huh. 
During this time, he should definitely just, like, ask Nahida. Although she might say she doesn't know. But she's really good about clearing madness and stuff like that. Should be terribly hard for her. He's clearly doing something weird to grow these and mushrooms, though. Bear's condition is stable. By which I mean, anyway. Hmm. I need you to stand guard here for a, a while. <laughs> Whatever you do, ah, good. I'll be back soon. Ah, the monsters appeared because of the, uh... Go in! Be still. That was really easy. What happened? Was it monsters? Oh, thank goodness you were here. I couldn't have taken them on all by myself. I'd have to uh, hide and wait until they... Oh, yes, um, I've got the fertilizer. The effects can take some... Next, we pick the mushrooms and repeat the same steps as before to make another dose. <laughs> I trust you still remember the method. Yeah. Strange mushroom, strange mushroom. Hmm. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, after resting in this field for a while, my thoughts began to wander. I have been so very wary for many years. If only I could fall asleep here in this field. <laughs> I do indeed. That's why it was just a fleeting thought. Thank you for your help once again. And now... Again, he should just ask Nahida. We're here. Let's begin. Wait a moment. Hey, what was that? Cory Bear? Oh no. He must have left well. Come on! There's no way we, especially now that we're this close. That's not Cory Bear. Oh, right. And Cory Bear's scarf was a gift I once gave to his mother. I use it now as a marker of sorts. My, my eyes must be going. How could I not recognize my own son? Ah, oh, yes. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. 
It seems intent. Yes. <laughs> the more we know about. I mean, there's that girl, Ella Musk or whatever, that knows, like, the language of the Hillitoral. Did it go in here? Place. Huh. It looks like they're uh, worshipping. <laughs> sometimes uh, walking, sometimes kneeling in worship, and, and it appears to be in earnest. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? Oh, there's only one way. Uh. Yeah, it's like uh, the last time when I was with Dane's Leaf in the Abyss. Whoa. Portals. Is this a teleportation device? What energy is powering it? I'm actually starting to feel kind of tired again. Oh, but I have been streaming for five hours. I get on the ceiling? Did the room turn upside down? Or gravity itself? Oh, okay, there we go. That's one thing I needed. Seems like I need to find a place to insert the rune. All right, I need to go back.
It's almost six o'clock. Let's go. Jump in. Oh, an abyss herald. Doesn't. Do you insist on an audience? It looks like an abyss herald to me. Very well. It sounds like Can one. I grant you the trial of destiny. What is the trial? Desolation. Frostfall. He was terrifying. He was a perfect being. Oh. He had the most wondrous aura, a perilous yet beautiful power, and yet you were able to defeat him. Oh, your strength is greater than I had imagined. <laughs> Let's continue on. I find myself growing more cute. I don't want to try the other team. Oh, I can't. Dang it. I don't know if this works, because it doesn't look like Riding Dragon's E works with Ayata's E. Which is kind of weird, because I feel like it should. We've made it to the end. Yeah.
could. <laughs> what just happened? When I saw that thing, my my heart was instantly at peace. I I was overcome by a, a sense of awe or, or joy, perhaps. I am. I feel good, in fact. I, I, I feel better than I did before I came in here. <laughs> oh, uh, is that so? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Interesting. Bear. Oh, thank goodness. He's still okay. I, I have a strange feeling that what just happened was meant for this to happen. Right at the moment when I was dreading worshipping at a statue of the Seven, it's as if fate was eh, calling to me. Or a coincidence. You, you or a trap. say that I bowed before that thing, so perhaps... It might be just as effective. I have to try. No matter what you... I did. Oh. It worked! It's a miracle! Oh, oh, Kari Bear! My dear son! You see? It worked! Kari Bear can speak again! Where's... Mama? Mama is... Kari Bear, look at me! Do you know who I am? Of course. Your papa. <laughs> <laughs> salvation! Sweet salvation! Yes, yes, this is, this is what this feeling is. Uh, how do you feel, Kari Bear? Uh, are you fully awake now? Yes. It feels like I just woke up from a long, long sleep. I dreamed that I was hiding in a little room. I didn't dare go out the whole time, and I didn't want to either. Wait. Uh, my body! What happened to me? Is this... Is this me? Papa? What's happened to me? Uh, uh, don't panic, son. It's just... While you were sleeping, we, we went into a fairy tale world. There, there's no more Conry uh, here, um, and no more home. But, 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 do you know what that means? No more red sky. No more end of the world. In this world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, but, but you get to stay with Papa. You, should you have called him a little monster? Am I dead? No, 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 of course not. Look, Kari Bear, you, you still have Mama's scarf on your arm. That means she's watching over you, protecting you. So how could you be dead? Really? Yes, really. You've all only just woken up, and, and this must all be very confusing for you. Just rest here for now. Things will get better. Oh, oh, and, um, you have to promise me something. Never take off your mask. Understand? Whatever happens, you mustn't take it off. Okay, Papa. I won't. I promise. Hmm, okay. Not since that day have I been so glad as I am now. I can't believe this is really happening. It is unbelievable. I knew that placing my hope in the Seven was a waste of time. <laughs> I, I even worshipped at one of their statues like a, like a common fool. Never before have I humiliated myself like that. Once a murderer, always a murderer. 
I was naive to think that the gods who conspired against us would ever offer redemption. But the god we saw in that cave, oh, now that was a truly mighty god. Nothing like one of the seven. That wondrous power, it was truly enchanting. I... <laughs> Surely that, that must have been the reason I bowed down. Hmm. Now then, after one besieges a god, and the god responds by answering their prayers, should they, uh, do something to show their devotion? Piety is hardly my area of expertise. <laughs> a sinner? Oh, don't be absurd. You... You don't know a single thing about him. How dare you utter such blasphemy? You and I have both witnessed his divine power. When has the Seven worked a miracle like this before, hmm? Never! He is a god mightier than they, and yet you would call him a sinner. Oh, preposterous! No matter. <laughs> Believe what you will. You cannot shake my faith. I am going to pay my respects with or without you. Okay. Still can't, still can't end it, huh? All right. I was thinking about hopping off, but it's a, it won't let me. Like, I can't view my map. I can't hit like go to my options. I could probably just close the game, but uh, I guess I'll try and finish it. Rude. Um, he's talking about this like crystal he saw in this cave that I'm heading back to right now. But it looked exactly like uh, the upside down statue that we found in the abyss with uh, with Thanesliff. What happened? The Hilly Churl worshippers have disappeared too. What? Was it all an illusion? Uh, yes, it's unlikely. That's true. Yes, it, it can't have been an illusion. I still feel that awesome and wondrous power flowing through my mind. It was neither illusion nor coincidence, and, and certainly no dream. <laughs> it was a wonder. Let's go, Traveler. There is surely a reason for its disappearance, and I, I do believe that someday in the future, we shall see it again. Could he really have been a sinner and not a god? Hmm. I 
I slightly wonder what was the point of us coming back in here. If that was all we did. Cory Bear? We're hurting. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe someone else came by and found him? No. No, it can't have been that. There's there's no sign of a break in and, and no sign of anyone have. This does not bode well. What if he's spotted by a forest ranger or a, an adventurer in his current state? Oh, wait a minute. This isn't how we left it. Ah, uh, he oh, looked in the no. mirror. <gasps> the mirror, it's broken. The mirror was broken the whole time. He must have taken his mask off. And uh, if he'd just done as he was told, uh, we have to find him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's Conrian. He he, he actually said that to me earlier. That's why his eyes are like that. It's his scarf. He dropped it. Uh, looks like we're going the right way. Uh, come on. Curses, forest rangers. Hey, who are you? We haven't seen you around here before. What's your business here? Wait, don't I know her? Have you seen a, uh, hilly churl? A, a, a hilly churl should have uh, come past this way. <laughs> have you seen it? I asked you first. I said, have you... Hey, whoa. Look, sir, there's no need to get so worked up. There are hilly churls everywhere. What's the big deal? Exactly. Matter of fact, we just took out a few of them back there. Those dumb boneheads. You... You... Forest ranger scum! You, you spawn of the seven are all the same! I'll have your heads if you so much as laid a finger on Curry Bear! You... You're raving mad! You've got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the forest rangers! Curse you all, forest rangers! Both sides calm down, thanks to your urging. I don't get it. Why make such a huge fuss over a few? He'd only just regained his mind. How could you do this to him? So tell me, forest rangers, did you really spare none of them? Did you? Jeez, you're really not going to let this go. Fine, weirdo. If you must know, I happened to cross paths with a solitary hilly churl when I left the team to, uh, <laughs> use the toilet. I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in me at all. It was just bumbling along in that direction. <gasps> yes! What? Wait, you're leaving? Not even a thanks for the info, goodbye? Nope. Bye. Thanks for the info. Adventure time. Off we go. I wonder how long we were talking to those four strangers for. Stop whatever you saw. It, it was... it was all a trick. I told you, we're in a fairy tale world now. Nothing here is real. Kari Bear? How could this happen? He regained his mark. Come, Kari Bear. We have to go home now. Papa's here to take you home, all right? Oh, that is him. Papa, I can't take it. Please, Cory Bear. 
It's my fault. I'm so sorry. If only I'd known. It's all... It's all too much. Mama! <sighs> What happens when a hella troll removes their mask? <laughs> I see. I understand now. Finally, it all makes sense. Aha! Traveler! You're awake! Finally, we can rejoice together! Wait, no. Why am I still calling you Traveler? Oh, I have known your true identity for some time now. <laughs> I suspected it was you oh, from the beginning. <laughs> I had to talk to you to be sure. Oh, of course you haven't. With your status, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. In any case, uh... I've been using a fake name this entire time. <laughs> Isa is the name of a servant I once had. My they have the curse. Is Clotar. Clotar. Clotar Alberic. Oh, he's the founder of the uh, Abyss Heralds. You saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power inside Kari Bear and the power of the one you call us. Sinner, it was one and the same. <laughs> uh, yeah, they have the. I am positive now. It's the power of the abyss, isn't it? It is the power of the abyss. It is true. Oh, at long last, I have seen it with my own eyes. That is no business of yours, a sinner. Yes, salvation for a sinner can only come from a sinner. But yeah, all all the Conrians have the curse of immortality. His fate, but now. It's wonderful. He will be able to weave his own destiny anew. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become the loom of fate. Huh. Sinister. Dangerous. Oh, I never imagined that you of all people would deny the abyss. How ridiculous. We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. To us, you were the abyss. A wondrous mystery far beyond our imagination and comprehension. And the one who controls the abyss can control everything. We yearned for that mm. future. We looked to you to take us there. But what did you bring us in, oh, princess of Conria? Oh, my dreaming and having <laughs> memories of... Why did he just call me? <laughs> his sister. That makes sense. He's gonna see Lamine. while you were unconscious. I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the Abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. What did you witness? You mean Clotar Albury? After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many, but the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. 
And in the end, neither his faith nor the abyss he worshipped could save him. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. You could say that. She wouldn't be the Abyss Order's princess otherwise. Are you alright? You have a troubled look on your face. Uh, I have a story to tell you. So you saw her memories from centuries ago, through your own eyes. It all but defies belief. Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the loom of fate did indeed rear its head during that time. And it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. And yet your sister never breathed a word of this incident to me. Mm -hmm. I wonder, was that... Indeed. Clearly, this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. This... was where it all began. What is it? The field? What is that? You mean here? What? Yeah, this is gonna be some... skeleton buried together interestingly the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later and it's holding a silk scarf in its hand but what does this mean and how did you know that there were bodies buried here what that's impossible oh my goodness it was his wife Clotar Albert oh my found a way to rid goodness the male body is is Kari Bear. So the female female body must be Kari Bear, Kari Bear's mother or Clothar's wife. Ah, oh, that's messed up. Mm. This all raises far too many questions. I need time to think and to search my memories for some missing pieces. We should part with Huh? You're just gonna leave? Why? You could come with us, you know. It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. Who is he? Who's he? Yes. I have my suspicions as to his identity. But I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. If the time is right, I will tell you when we next meet. But what do you mean that he saw the Traveler? I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no obstacle to him. What? Why? What is... All right, let's leave it there. <laughs> there goes Dane. And just like that, it's back to being the two of us again, huh? Hmm? What is it? Huh? Aww. Let <laughs> me give her a hug. Okay. That was something. That was actually kind of a, I don't know, I like how that ended. Uh, yeah, that was cool. But all right, I've been streaming for five and a half hours. I think it's time to take a break for me. Uh, maybe I'll stream some more tomorrow. I'm not sure, we'll see. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for, you know, random evil act being here the whole time, Brent. Not forcing me to hydrate every 30 seconds. That was great. Thank you all again for being here. Let me, um, wh what the heck? I thought my Steam just told me that I have 63 on red notifications. Um... Anyway. Oh, wow, Malgrim is online. I haven't seen him in forever. 
Let me go ahead and read Malgram. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I hope you guys have a good rest of the night. Nice, I appreciate it. I hope you have a safe move, Elegant, and let me know when you're safe in Sweden. I'll catch you all the next time. Later.